In this video I'm going to show you what happens underwater in St. Leonard's just under your boat. Um, this is all recorded in month of April 2021. I often mention that if you start losing your bite quickly, you must move. Well, this is it. If you fish on top of the grass, this is what's happening under your boat. This kind of ground is dominated by leather jackets. It's always a good idea to drop a squid jig just behind the boat, lift it about a meter and just let it sit there. Often we get lucky. Chasing King George Whiting, sand patch was the key for my success. It's very important to have your bite all the way down on the seafloor. That's where King George Whiting feeds. If you have it a meter off the ground, you will be taken by leather jackets, yakas, domiraf, etc. Unfortunately, sometimes we do lose quite a few rigs to stingrays, banjo sharks, Paul Jackson, and others. Sometimes it's good to have the belly bucket under the boat so all the small fish comes to it, and then you cast 15 meters behind your boat so you can catch King George Whiting. It's amazing how many small leather jackets are around this area. Tommy Raff is another species that you may often come across at St. Leonard's. They will take squid, pilchard, anything on Paternoster Rig. Spider crabs can be a bite catch as well. These small fish are rock perch or skeleton. Not very common to get them on a hook, but it's not a mystery around St. Leonard's. They normally pass by in schools and they are bottom feeders. Again, fishing on top of the grass bed, just a big no-no, unless you are targeting a red mullet or squid, in that case, maybe it's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> 